Greetings fellow traveling. I want to remind you that where you are now in life is where you once dreamed of being. Now it may not be exactly how you envisioned it, but you are where you once dreamed of being. And as you came up to this present moment, you put more intention, more desires out. And after this present moment, you're going to be in other places that you once dreamed of being. So be mindful of your thoughts, your intentions, your heart. More importantly, appreciate where you are right now. It may not be the best. It may be the best. It's not for me to say. It's only for you to say. The beautiful thing about it is you can look at your journey up to this point. And you'll be able to make sense out of many things. And for myself, that's a beautiful aspect. I spent years fighting that, uh, fighting that approach, if you will. But when I simply accepted it, it allowed me to see my journey up to this point a lot differently. It allowed me to appreciate my journey up to this point on a level that I've never known before. Yesterday, I had an interesting conversation. Uh, somebody near and dear to me, we spoke spoke for a couple hours. And I don't, I don't really speak on the phone too often. I don't do social media. So to have this kind of interaction was, it was a blessing in itself. But it was interesting because as I spoke with this person, I understood that the things I used to beat myself up about in the past, I was so happy to go through. In that present moment on the conversation, even while I'm talking to you right now, the level of gratitude was ridiculous. To where I would even laugh at some things in the past that in the past I would cry about. It would really hurt. But I could laugh at those things because I learned the lesson. It's a beautiful conversation. It was an exciting experience, even in being in such harmony with another individual. That was cool. Now, uh, the person that I did speak to is a relative of mine, and we've seen many versions of ourselves over the years. Happy for where he is in his life. He's happy for where I am. And it was a, it was a great exchange. Well, during that exchange, what it taught me about myself is as long as I continue to keep myself in a certain harmony or balance with who I truly am, those that resonate with me spiritually will be connected with me. That could be those that are near, those that are dear. That could be those that are far away and those that I haven't even physically met yet. But I say yet because spiritually, I know there are different connections that are still yet to be established on this plane. And that's a beautiful thing. Going back to the topic, embrace where you are. And look back at certain things or even look at your current situation and really retrace, like attempt to connect the dots. And when you see those things, whether it's something that you're proud about, something that you're ashamed about, something you feel guilty about, think about what it taught you. Think about what kind of change it inspired in you. Whether it be for the better or for the worse, it doesn't matter. Simply like if you can, don't even judge it. Simply look at it, observe it. This is what I learned about myself and in simply doing that that experience was all the more worth it so appreciate yourself appreciate who you are appreciate who you were especially who you will be because no matter what wherever you end up you once dreamed of being there until next time be blessed and please don't forget to smile